show you the milkweed plant and explain to you the importance of not stripping down the plant because of this beautiful beauty that you see right there. That is the monarch caterpillar. Um, and this, believe it or not, is the only food source for these caterpillars. If we pull these plants out as weeds, we're not going to have any more monarchs on this planet. So we really have to be mindful. We can share with nature, but we don't want to be greedy and just strip it down. For instance, the monarch will lay, uh, the butterfly will lay its eggs right under the leaves. And then once the caterpillars come to life, this is the only food source it has. So if we take the stock of this plant when it's young, it's never going to come to bloom and it's never going to make oh, pods. Zia, look, this one's eating. And it's never going to, there's one that's eating right there, and it's never going to um, make seeds for us. So as you could tell, it's eating. This is the only plant it eats because uh, the milk is toxic. And when the caterpillar eats this, the milk uh, protects the, cater uh, the caterpillar, so no insects will eat the caterpillar. And the, mon and the monarch continues to survive. So for instance, uh, there are the pods, the blooms are done, there are the pods. We want to be mindful and maybe just take a couple, here we go. We're going to take a couple of these, one or two off the plant. The rest are small, so I'm going to, uh, here's one I could take right there. Whoop. But that's it. I'm only going to take two off this plant. So what happens here is they will grow and they will go into seed and they're going to make more plants for the monarch. So we're going to continue and I'm going to show you more. And remember, we have to share with nature. Let's not be greedy and let's enjoy at the same time. And what's good is if you do, um, sorry, I should finish my sentence, eh? And let's enjoy uh, what nature enjoys, but let's not be destructive. Here's an example of a young, of a young plant. A lot of people will actually take the shoot of this young plant but if you do that, this plant will never cease to exist anymore. So I say leave the shoots alone so this plant could actually come to full term by making flowers and then by making the pods and then the seeds so more can grow. So I do not advise that you take the shoots, guys. This is the perfect time. Now here's another plant this is what I'm saying now some people actually okay number one I want to come and smell this alley it smells amazing a lot of people oh, yeah, there's a lot of, there's two. yeah come and smell these flowers yeah so they grow so the cow smell smell this do you see yes. how amazing that is so the caterpillars also grow in here too Look, there's one hanging there. Do you see it? Look, yeah. there's like a beautiful. They eat on here too. Yeah, this, this is, is the only food, food they have, Ali. That's why if we kill this plant, because a lot of people think uh, it's a weed. An, this is a milkweed. Is this is a milkweed plant? Yeah, this is or is yes, it is. Oh, what did I step on? Piece of wood. Um, now these blooms will turn into pods, but some people will also eat the bl eat the blooms when they're uh, just bloomed. Uh, they can fry those, you could batter those, but I would say, um, there's that beautiful caterpillar. Uh, I would say, do not uh, take many, like take maybe one bloom per plant and leave the rest to do magic. Because, you know, I just noticed there's a guy who bought some land and he stripped all his plants. So, you know, there goes the milkweed in that section. But if you could get a chance, I say, if you see a pod that's already seeded, Bring home those seeds and maybe plant them in your backyard. Here's more caterpillars, guys. So, you know, the butterflies were really busy. There are some pods, but those are the only pods on this plant. So I'm not even going to touch it because there's not enough pods on this plant 
for me to take. So I will leave that one completely alone. People shouldn't be pulling these plants, uh, destroying these plants as weeds. If anything, if I see any seeds, uh, sometimes we buy seeds and we replant them. But now here's a plant that has lots of pods. So I am going to take just a couple. So I'm going to leave there. I took only three and I'm leaving the rest so they could grow and seed. Hello. Uh, do you want me to pick some here? Uh, yeah, you can pick some. Now, remember what I said about the milk? There's the milk on my hands and it's very sticky. I'm going to show you. Notice how sticky my hands are, like very, very sticky. You don't want to rub your eyes when you've got this milk on your hands because it is slightly toxic. So my daughter's picking, but she is scatter picking, I guess you could call that. Uh, she doesn't take everything. She only takes a few here and there because we don't want to get greedy, right? And we leave a lot of pods behind. Thank you, Ali. I mean, I could sit here and just take all the pods that I want, but what happens to the plant? And this is a perfect size. You could get them even a little longer, um, but you don't want to get them way too big. And how do you know that they're still good? If you give it a squeeze and they don't pop open, uh, you know that it's still very edible. So as you can see that we're doing what you call scatter picking. There we go. You see over there? Yeah, that's it. We're going to leave the rest. Hey? Yeah. If it's, uh, hey? Yeah, that's perfect. So that's what we've got so far. But if we keep walking along here, uh, there's so many. There's so many. And they've all come to, the flowers are done. And now they're, they're going into pod. And there's some that are just blooming. See, those are young ones. Now, a lot of people used to collect these young shoots because they taste just like asparagus. But we're not going to do that because if we do that, we're killing the complete plant. So that's it. So, you know, we can live in harmony with, with nature. It's just uh, you have to be respectful. That's what it comes down to. Uh, you have to respect nature. Here, Ali. Ali. Hi, beautiful. There's a bike behind you, Ali. Hi, beautiful. I'm not sure if you can see the beautiful deer. Come, Ali. Come and see the deer. Hi, beautiful. Come and see, Ali. Be quiet. Come here. Come here. Right there, Ali. Come and see. Do you see it? Come. Stand where I am. Hi, beautiful. Do you see right there? Isn't it beautiful? Oh. Hi. Hi. I see you. You're so beautiful. I see you. Hi, beautiful. She's eating. Don't scare her, okay, Ali? Hi, you beautiful little creature. Don't be scared. Ali, don't scare it, okay? It's okay, baby. It's okay. I'm going to walk away so it could go where it has to go. Good, good boy. You're still a baby. He's trying to figure out where he can go. I was listening to a radio station. Come on, baby. Oh, you're so beautiful. And uh, they were talking about being 
uh, vegan and one guy says no if you if you um, that's okay baby you go there you go oh you're so beautiful you're so beautiful it's okay baby it's okay it's okay bye you have yourself a good day we're not gonna hurt you sweetie we just think that you're beautiful now we think we know you're beautiful it's okay baby it's okay come on ladies let's not scare it bye 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 are you coming that's okay baby there you go I'm sorry I'm never in camera so he was listening to one guy saying that he raises uh, humane meat and my husband was driving the car and all I heard come out of his mouth was there's no such thing as humane humane meat you have to kill to get that meat and I but I just burst out into tears I could not believe that came out of my husband's mouth who he was a hunter since he was a little boy because his father took him hunting as a kid. So to hear that come out of my husband's mouth, I, I can't even tell you what it did. It was like the most amazing moment in my life. And I believe anybody could change. Oh, you're so sweet. Don't get nervous. Come, ladies. He's nervous. He's not moving. Come. There's my daughters right there. Well, my daughter and my beautiful niece. And there's the beautiful baby deer who's not sure if he should run or if he should stay and eat. <laughs> okay, girls, let's not make him nervous. He's here to eat right now. He's got to eat before winter comes. So everything's possible, guys. Come, Erica. Let it be. Ali, is this your first deer? Yeah, this is Isn't it beautiful? Yeah. He's going to walk with us? No, they're not going to hurt you, Ali. Yeah, but look, he might even follow us. He's yeah, we'll see if he follows us. Bye, baby. Oh no, it's going. It went. It went. There it is. Maybe it's gonna fall. Oh no, look. Is <laughs> he gonna going. look through there he is. through the trees or what? Oh it's going, it's oh, going. Gone. He was very cautious. What he didn't want to a little surprise this morning, eh? Aww. You gotta love the country guys. So yeah, I'll never forget the day my husband said that I was like basically in tears. I could not believe that came out of his mouth. I'm so excited. We're not even looking for the the milkweed pods anymore <laughs> but yeah there's the young shoots there's the young shoots right there and look the the city cleaned off the trail but also destroyed a lot of milkweed which is kind of sad because to them this is a weed you know people don't know better people really need to do their homework before they destroy any kind of plant it actually just rained again. We haven't had rain up here for the longest, longest time. That all the beautiful mushrooms, all the chanterelles, they all dried up. There's nothing left of them. So hopefully the rain we had and are still having is going to, uh, is going to make mushrooms grow again. Those beautiful chanterelles last year it was so it was the perfect mushroom year uh, with all the rain we had and all the sun we had there's a mushroom but those aren't edible you see those ones those are very woodsy mom, mom. oh hi you're back Hello. you're back you're back it's okay don't be scared don't be scared you go do your thing 
<laughs> yeah. Bye, little one. Uh, I guess I got so excited I didn't show you the mushroom. <laughs> Same deer, Allie. It's get, uh, and it's so cold today. Oh, my God. I'm wearing just, well, I don't know if you can see. I'm wearing my long sleeve. Um, yeah, I'm going to put my rain jacket on. I have my I have my frog tied up around my waist, but yeah, I might put it on because it's a little chilly up here. Nothing like the city, that's for sure. It's nice and hot in the city, but up here, it's nice and chilly. My nose is starting to run. That dry spell really dried up everything, even the blueberries. Usually by now, there should be so many blueberries, but you know, if it doesn't rain, eventually they dry up. Okay guys, so if I see anything exciting, I'll show you. Um, we are going to keep walking and hiking along the trail and see what the trail has to offer us. And remember, whatever you pick, let it be mushrooms, let it be uh, milkweed pods. I believe by picking milkweed pods, we're not destroying the planet or the monarchs. If anything, uh, people will become more respectful, like someone said to said on the uh, under my last video. I believe. Oh my God! I wish I remember her name, but my head is like scatterbrain right now. Uh, but she was nice enough to say that I believe that if you do start enjoying that plant for food, that we might become a little more aware that it's not a weed, but it's something very beneficial for us. And we'll be a little more respectful and we will not destroy the plant the way we're doing it now. People call it a weed and so they just mow it down. And that's very sad because without the bite to the monarchs. So let's live in harmony. I believe that, you know, I'm here for a short time on this planet. I want to leave a beautiful mark on this planet and not... And not a destructive one. I want my kids to say my mom did everything she could to keep our planet beautiful and alive. So, anyhow, so much for my little preaching here. I love you guys. If I see something else that's exciting, like a beautiful deer, I will, for sure, show it to you. So... I'll see you in a little bit, guys, and if not, I'll see you back when we're cooking up these delicious pods and making something delicious. I think we're going to make polenta rings, fried polenta rings with these beautiful pods on top. So, we'll see you in a little bit, guys. For more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to Connie's Rawsome Kitchen. Give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends.